Hi kids. Okay, box office report. Uh, who took how much money and how much did the Swifties give to the box office? Uh, so we'll start at the bottom. Number 10 was Dumb Money. Um, the GameStop movie made $920,000. Uh, last week it was number 8, so it drops to number 10. A uh, total of $12.6 million domestically. These totals are domestic in its fifth weekend, although it initially had a limited release. Uh, number nine, staying at number nine from last week, uh, The Equalizer 3, uh, $960,000 uh, for a total of $90.5 million domestically in its seventh weekend. Number eight is The Blind. That is the Duck Dynasty movie. Uh, last week it was number four. Five, so probably won't be on the top 10 next week. Made $1.3 million for a total of $13.3 million in its third weekend. Number seven is The Nun 2. Staying at number seven from last week. Uh, $1.6 million it made. A uh, total of $83.7 million in its sixth weekend. Nun's getting that money. Uh, number six is The Haunting in Venice. Uh, last week it was also number six. Made $2 million for a total of $38.9 in its fifth weekend. Number five is The Creator. Last week, number four. Made $4.3 million this weekend. Total of $32 million in its third weekend. Number four is Saw. X, uh, the return of Jigsaw. Uh, last week it was number three. It made $5.7 million this weekend, total of $41.4 million. Its third weekend film only costs, what, $10 million? There you go. Uh, number three is Paw Patrol Mighty Movie. Uh, last week it was number two. It made $7 million this weekend, total of $49.8 million in its third weekend. And then number two uh, is The Exorcist Believer. Uh, last week was number one. Made $11 million over the weekend at the box office for a total of $44 million. Uh, in its second weekend, probably not what the studio is wanting when you buy the rights to it for $400 million. Uh, by the way, Exorcist Believer, if you're someone who did not go see it in the theaters and you don't really want to, but you still want to see it, you don't have to wait very much longer. It will be available video on demand October 24th. Uh, it was released in theaters October 6th. That means a theatrical run is only 18 days or you can watch it at home. I think kind of giving up on this one anyways. Maybe we won't get three of them. Uh, maybe. Maybe we'll have a different director. Uh, and then number one, of course, is the Eras Tour. Taylor Swift uh, opened with $96 million at the boxes. So a little uh, lower, right? It was talked about Friday forecast anywhere from 100 to 300. That means big. Uh, 96, so just coming in a little under the 100, but that's still very, very, very good. Um, it has made $128 million worldwide, um, which is already as much as the Blue Beetle made uh, at the box office. It puts it uh, 28th overall, the top 100 box office. It is number 28. To date, it'll probably finish anywhere from the top 20 at least to maybe around the top five. Um, its opening weekend was the sixth highest opening of this year. It just edged out uh, The Little Mermaid. So box office opening was similar to The Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid is cl uh, currently sitting as the seventh highest grossing film of the year. So Eras Tour could move up to that department 
we shall see what kind of staying power it has in the theater. That will be interesting. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.